Hello. So, um, there's a handful of people that want to see how I build the merry-go-round build. For those of you that are not familiar with it, um, there's fun things you can do in the game. Imagine that. There's, uh, it's kind of, it kind of blows my mind a little bit because, um, over the last year, all you ever hear about is min-maxing, sweaty, people worried about material. I mean, the game used to be way more, way more like, uh, way sweatier. Um, because you had certain build limits you had to abide by, you had all kinds of constriction, you had, it was just crazy, it was crazy. The game has really kind of become super casual, more opened up, but even then, even then, the game is designed to be an open playground sandbox where you can do whatever you want, and it, it blows my mind that I haven't seen anybody really, really blow up or, or promote fun. <laughs> it's all like... Do a pyramid and run in gun with your high level with your high level gun, or or do a sweaty 360, or or do a, a kill tunnel, do 15 kill tunnels, um, which is fine. That's 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 a successful way to play the game, but you can do fun things. So if you haven't seen, um, I've got a couple gameplay videos of what we called the bouncy house and the merry-go-round, um, and I might do a video on how we do the bouncy house. I want to read. I want to reamp it also. Um, we did one the other day on stream, and it was awesome. I was in tears laughing. Um, it literally launched husks up and up and up and up and up and up like an elevator right and then out to their death <laughs> we actually put little pools down on the ground we're trying to see if we could get them to land in the pools um to claim that we were getting points for it it was just it's fun um but nobody does it um the game is far too easy anymore especially most people like the game tells you now if you're if you're doing a level 76 mission and you're level 75 the game says you're underpowered come on Come on, when I leveled up through Plankerton Stonewood, I'm not very, I'm, I'm just casual, man. I'm, I'm not like super good. My aim sucks, whatever. Um, we were doing levels that were 20 levels higher than us. Everything that was red and orange is what we were doing. Just me and one other person. Then we played with pugs. Um, but now it's like, nope, you're underpowered. So people are like, no, you have to do it at your level or you have to be five levels higher, which is why people do pyramids because if you're, if you're overpowered, you just slap a pyramid down and you walk around like it's Call of Duty. You don't do anything. You don't trap shit up. You don't do nothing. So, but if you're doing stuff that's that's 20 levels higher, you got to do other things besides that 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 pointy object. Um, but you can also do fun stuff. So, enough ranting about that. We're gonna show the merry-go-round. The concept of the merry-go-round. We were one day. We we're like, well, let's just um, let's see if we can just move the husks. Just move them, not kill them. Let's just move them. Okay. The husk comes over and he unwillingly gets relocated to here, and then over here, and then over here, and then over here, and he's like, God damn it, I just want to hit the, and then he gets moved again. Um, so that's what the merry-go-round is. Merry-go-round. It's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, so, basically, you're gonna, I mean, this this is the objective on a one-by-one. One. You can do it on all kinds of other sizes, too, but the, I mean, the concept, you can build it a little differently. The The way that I've consistently been doing it is obviously you want to put floors down if the game wants to respawn. Put floors down around the whole thing, right? Um, you don't want to knock them away from the wall because that's going to knock them backwards outside of the circle. So I end up putting um, wall lights on all sides. Now, again, if you're using a balloon, you have to anticipate the fact that you're not going to build on two sides. Um, I've got a gameplay video of it. I'll link it in the description below. You can watch how we did it. Um, it's not hard. I mean, for those of you that are like, well, you have to build really quick when the balloon... You, you have plenty of time. You have plenty of time, especially if you're playing with friends. So, we're going to make him go um, clockwise. So then, um, I typically always use metal just because it has higher health. Um, but we're going to put a wall there, a wall there. Okay, so you end up having a two by one. So you're just going to go left left of the objective okay and then over here also here's the objective you're gonna put this here but you're gonna make it a uh, um, an archway the reason you do the archway is because you want them to be able to walk in you don't want them just funneling in one section you could but you want them to be able to walk in okay and the reason you put the archway here do it on all four sides so you're familiar with it So now you have it on all four sides. Maybe I should put uh, some stairs over here so we can get up high and you can see. Okay, see, so you've got your objective. You've got your four walls. You've got your four archways looking at each wall, okay? And then on the archway, you're gonna slap down a ramp or stairs, whatever you prefer. 
See where we're going with this? Okay, so now you have your four, your four slants. Okay. And the reason you do this is because now you're gonna put floor launchers underneath each slope. Okay, because that's gonna launch them up, over, and down. Sometimes they'll land on here, depending on how much impact you have on your stuff, and then they'll just walk back down. And then here, you're using this just as delay. You're using it just as delay to stop them from here. So then what you're gonna do also is you're gonna run freeze traps. And then same thing over here. You're gonna run wall lights. You want them to stop here, you want them to stop here. You don't want them moving. So they can be affected by your launchers. And then you're gonna put a launcher here. Freeze trap here, okay? This is each section right here. Double wall lights for stun to stop them. Wall pusher to knock them away. This is where you gotta be careful, and it's really not a super big idea or big deal, but you don't want wall launchers ideally with a lot of impact. If you're gonna do stuff like this, you always wanna have two launchers anyways. You wanna have you wanna have two wall launchers. I'll show you. I've got ones right here that have three impact and two reload. So they fire quickly and they have massive knockback. The impact value is just a value that applies until you break a threshold before the knockback or the stun or whatever takes effect. So the fact that it has all this knockback, it's going to knock them back super far. And what it's going to do is it's going to knock them back over to here, maybe over here, then they're out of the circle. Um, if you only have one impact knockback rating on yours, it'll knock them back to here, which is ideal. So what you can do in a build like this is your traps are gonna disappear because it's a delay, so they're constantly working and nothing's dying, so they're just constantly firing. They're gonna disappear in this build, so you have to re-put your traps down. So if you wanted to build for goofy stuff, you wanna have a second trap uh, wall launcher or lights or something in your arsenal that, um, do I have one? Right here. This has one impact and I've got two durabilities and two reloads. So this is the ideal wall launcher for this build, but I didn't, I didn't make any, so my bad. But um, yeah, one impact, two reloads, two durabilities. Is, is better, is better for this situation. So they're gonna get frozen, they're gonna get stunned, they're gonna get knocked back over to here, they're gonna come over here, they're gonna get frozen, stunned, whatever. They're not gonna get frozen, they're gonna get stunned. Knocked up and over, rinse and repeat. You got your freeze traps. We'll knock those down real quick to make it a complete build. We'll put our, um, hey, wall lights. Up. And you wanna upgrade all this metal. I'm just leaving this darker so you can see that that's the objective. And then another thing you can do, this is up to you guys, this is what we do. I throw just a, um, on this outer lip here. I throw these, uh, these so you can jump up, okay? A lot of people have issues jumping. Um, you could put a base on here. The issue with the base is that it, it deflects the damage and you can kill husks. So the concept of a delay rotating, there is actually a strategy to this build. It works too. Um, your traps are going to disappear, so it's a pain in the butt. You have to run around and heal sometimes. Uh, well, you not sometimes. You're going to have to run around and heal your walls, jump up and down. And these little stubs also help you stay out of line of sight from bone throwers and, and piss and bees and whatever, right? Um, you can watch the video to see how we play it. But the base will kill things, which spawn more things. If you don't kill anything, you're not going to see any propane, and you most likely won't even see any smashers if you don't kill anything. So you will see a couple smashers um, uh, 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 most of the time, but you can kill them. You can kill them. Um, they're gonna, if this is metal, most unless you, you're unlucky and you get a nature wave, they're going to charge in and stop, and you can kill them and repair your wall. You can repair walls from up top, by the way, if you didn't know. So uh, another thing you can do is because children will jump up. If, you're, if you and your friends are standing up here, you can do this. You can put these up here if you want to. Um, that way, because the, the husks that, that get stuck up on this from here, sometimes will walk over. This will prevent them. Um, that gives you guys cover. Let's go ahead and put the, the wall launcher up. Ooh, somebody wants to talk to me. So this is, uh, this is basically the setup. Now, the only other issue with this setup right now is you're gonna get sniped from everything outside. So I always put up, um, building. make it a gated community. It's a gated park, okay? So you always go to the corners, you put the corner pieces out, okay? So corner pieces, and then you go out one more. And then they have one way to come in, okay? Corner piece, out one more, and that leaves one opening.
Corner piece, one more. Jump over. Corner piece, one. One. There. Now you have four sides. You're covered from anything outside. They walk in. They're going to go straight here. Frozen, stunned, knocked over, and then they're just going to be flying up. Um, it's it's super funny. You can, um, if you guys want, you can do lots of other things too. You can you can come on here. Um, we've come up and done done stuff like this, so we can get up top and watch. Um, we've even put put this stuff around, just so we can get up even further. Um, I've come out and built built perimeters. So you can watch the action run around, drop down. You can put launch pads in the corner to get back up. Um, there's there's all kinds of things you need to do. This is the basic concept. You can actually change this a little bit too. Um, but this is this is the merry-go-round. And from there, you guys can edit and do things however you want. Um, ideally, when you do stuff oh, like bounce. this, when you put a path up here, you're now out of line of sight of lots of the husks, and they'll ignore you. And you can run around, maintain. Um, Maintain, watch, laugh, giggle, um, and then jump back up, drop down to go heal when needed, place new traps. So, base works for healing. Um, you can also build build all your wall traps um, to heal your walls also. If you wanted to, to spec extra traps for goofy builds, so durability and then healing is good for walls. Um, there's a ton of cool things, but uh, merry go round, merry go round, awesome, awesome, super fun. We always love doing it. We bust it out, I don't know, once or twice a week on, on stream. Again, link in the description below. It's awesome. Totally awesome. The uh, the bouncy house. I'll make another one on that here soon. Anyways. My phone is blowing up. There's more things you can do. A lot of cool things. You can add damage, but again, if you add damage, you're going to kill husk, which is going to spawn more husks. Um, we put darts on all the insides and stuff, but then it, you're just putting a bunch of traps down. It's pointless. Um, you can do different things in the center. You can um, you can put holes here, windows, so you can somebody can stand inside. Um, we've done things where we've made this short and then put um, wall spikes, which then kills things. But then you're able to jump in and hang out and shoot and do things. But there's lots of different things you can do. This is ideally my favorite setup for this build. We've also done it where the slants are in the middle pieces. So this is the floor launcher that goes up and over. Then we have a wall launcher here that knocks them over to the center. Um, you can rotate it however you want. But again, this is my um, my preferred layout. Okay, that's it. Merry-go-round. Awesome. Fun. Goofy. I wish there would be more builds like this that people would come up with that are fun. So take it as you want. It's not a sweaty build. It takes maintenance. You're going to have to replace your traps. You have to heal. But it's funny. And it's awesome. And it works. All right. On that, I'm out. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye now.